you get fingerprints? Oh, Rita. Oh, I couldn't bear that myself. I feel solid if I get newsprint on my fingers. <laughs> Why do they need them? Probably to match up where I'm supposed to have thrown the child round the shop. They'll find nothing on him, and well, his mother knows it. Oh, the depth some people will go to. Well, I don't know why we're all so surprised. I mean, this is Batters being leagued with that cellar woman. It's, well, it's like marrying a werewolf to a vampire. Do you want someone with you in court? Oh, thanks, Emily, but no. I was caught off guard last time. This time I'm ready. I'm going to make sure those magistrates know what's really behind all this nonsense. Money. Get that into their minds right from the start. I hope. No. You going to Florida? Yeah, right. On holiday? We're not going to Florida. I am. Ask them all. We just thought we'd coming off the Rita Earth the port. It must have been some ordeal being arrested like that. Well, it was so out of the blue. Chesney, we're going. I could clout the lots of them. Don't give him the satisfaction. Chesney? No running around. Not with them dizzy spells. Tell them what we're going to Florida. Here. Now. Florida, eh? I'm beginning to look forward to this court hearing. You should be practicing your story for this solicitor. If you don't know, there won't be no Florida. Is he good, this solicitor? He's out paper. They got this one woman six grand just for getting stuck to a frozen turkey. Imagine what you get for our killing a kid. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, well, I was just trying to get one that wasn't creased. These magazines are stacked in strict accordance with the health and safety guidelines, so if this is another scheme to fleece Rita, you can forget it. Do what? I'll go and get changed. Just how much did you think getting a hit on the head by ladies' health and fitness was worth, eh? Eh, uh, what is up with you? Oh, don't come the innocent with me. I bet you're all in on it. In on what? Your delinquent brother accusing Rita of assaulting him. He didn't even notice he'd been hurt until your mother got her hands on him. Now all she can see are pound signs. She's suing Rita. So, top whack. Assuming Mrs Sullivan's found guilty, of course. Looking at about thousand pounds. More likely five hundred. Five hundred? Come on, Les, we'll go somewhere else. I doubt anyone will take this case. I haven't even decided whether to take it myself yet. This your daughter, Mr Baxter? Yeah. That's Wendy. And yet you value children so cheap. Less than a second-hand car. A car? I thought we were having a... He's the most precious thing I've got. All right. Um, look, did he suffer any memory loss? That might help push it up a bit. Memory loss? Oh, we were terrible with it, weren't you, Ches? You are. See, he's forgot. So, uh, are you taking this case or what? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. And there's no fee? Like it says on the sign, no win, no fee. Good. Because it sounds like we're getting precious little as it is. Yeah, but it, it's a win we're after, yeah? Not a no win. So there is a fee. Uh, yeah, I, I just thought I'd come round. We could catch up. Cake sent ya. Yeah. We'll turn to bug off. Oh, come on, Fizz. He'll only keep on at me. It's not my fault, none of this. Right, okay. But this is for you, not him. Five minutes, then you can turn to bug off. Shut up and smile, she's there. Look, shall I ring Strick? I'll see why he's late. He's not late yet. Don't look at him skipping about. Wish you could sue folk for a hiding in my day. And I've retired at 13. Nobody's had a hiding. Oh, there's time. You may as well be hung for a sheep. And nobody's a... getting hung. Magistrate's caught. Oh. Never get bored of it, you. You were some plain spotters. But bored of what? Tommy's favourite hobby. I go on the corpse, guessing what everyone's done. Or not done. Oh, I, The old smoke without fire thing. Give over. Yeah, well, in this case, it isn't smoke that we're dealing with. It's hot air. And I intend to inform the court that if anyone should be prosecuted, it's them that's spouting it. We'll still go to Florida, won't we? Hey, we'll be lucky to afford a weekend camping at Eaton Park. Shut up. 
I'm trying to think. What is there to think of? You're happy to settle for a couple of hundred quid, are you? Minus that smarmy solicitor's fee. It's a rip-off, that's what it is. A flaming scandal. I know, but... We're having proper money, and he is going to Florida. Now, if you'll just let me think. Is he not for me yet? Tyrone, well, oh, he's meant to be coming... Shh! Uh, what are you doing here? Thought you'd gone to America. Not America, Florida. I'm not going yet until we get the money off her. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, she can clout me an all if I get a holiday out of it. Come on, then, go and some off her. No. Go on, you do it. Yeah, come on. It's all right, Rita ain't even there. Yeah, and what's Norris gonna do anyway? <laughs> hey, what did she hit you with? Shell. <laughs> Keep the change. Rita? She's back. Oh, how does she look? Come on. Confirm your name and address. And my plea. Not guilty. Well, of course not guilty. All I wanted to do was register some sort of protest that I was there at all. And you didn't get the chance? Chance? I was more or less told to shut up by one of them. He was about half my age and spoke to me as if I was a child. It was humiliating. Oh, come on. They've got to hear your side of the story. That's what I said. Apparently, I have to save it for the next court date. You know, the longer this goes on, more time Les Battersby and that woman will have to invent more lies. Uh, what are you doing? I thought you were meant to be half dead. Give that here. Please. What's this about you, me mum and Rita? Shit. Who did? Me mum or Rita? Rita. Right, you. Come in. Come on, inside. I don't know what happened. My memory's lost. I was Rita done it. Uh, how do you know if your memory's lost? Come on, Chesney, you don't have to lie to me. I know mum's up to summer. Ow. Uh, what's this, eh? Lippy? What's she kissing you for? She's not up to summer. What do you care? Uh, I'm the only one who's worried about you. I looked after you more than what she did when you were a baby. Never took me to Florida, though. Who's going to Florida? Right, now, Chesney, come on. Someone could get into trouble here, and I don't want it being you. Last time, are you making this up? No! I knew I should have gone to me whist drive. There's always decent rows there. Anticlimax, is it? Well, now you know what court felt like for me today. Here. Two pints, please. Right. Never mind that. Let's have some at Fizzy. Beer's Fizzy. Proper Fizzy. Celebrate getting to the end of an hard and upsetting week. Oh, brass neck of that woman. The double you eyes in. Or has one of them day trip coaches to Morecambe just tipped out at door? Well, really? Oi, no trouble. You're right. They might be pensioners, but I know at least one can swing a right hook if she's a mind to. How dare you? This is more like it. If you think you can come swanning in here, spouting your scheming little lies. Know that, do you? Yes, we do. We know Rita. Saint Rita in a work amongst the kiddies, is it? Are you denying touching my boy? I said I hit him, and I'd do it again. But I never hurt him. That's a fact. My lad says you did. Oh, everyone knows you're lying. No, you don't. You only hope I am. You wait till the court proves what sort of woman she really is. I know what sort of woman you think I am. The sort that you think you'll get an expensive holiday out of. So I told the lad he can have a treat when this is over. So what? He deserves it after what you did to him. Only a fool would believe your story. Not what my brief said. He said it's your word against my Chesney's. And he's got bruises to talk for him. You're back in the wrong horse here. She hit him. She's admitting as much. Then, tried to bribe the lad with stuff. She hasn't got a leg to stand on. Now, if you don't mind, I'm trying to have a drink here. Two pints of your fizziest beer, please, Betty. Oh. Where shall it? I'm not chucking out. Oh, leave it, Audrey. I don't think I could stomach another drink. Want to go? Yes. Sorry, Blanche. Show's over. Oh, a bit late for backup. Why? Why what's happened? You all right, Rita? If you want me to take that boy to one side. Thanks, Blanche, but I don't think that'd do any good. Well, the offer's there. Good night. 
Good night, Blanche. And has somebody said so much? Somebody said plenty. That silly woman's utterly without conscience. I'm sure a court will see straight through her, like the police did. Look, come on, let's buy you a drink in the Rovers. Oh, I'm tired. I'd rather get off home, if that's all right. Have a coffee first. No, I'd rather not, if you don't mind. But I do thank you for all that you're doing. A bit of goodwill goes a long way. Shame it's so lacking behind some of these doors in this street. I'll, I'll come and help you up. Not right. was that? I've nothing to say to you. You were provoking me in there. I were only defending myself. Oh, I. Of course, you'd know nothing about provoking, would you? Thing is, I never realised how far all this might go. Of course I wanted you shown up for what you did to our Chesney. Any mother would. I'd no idea what it was going to cost you. You must be delighted. I'm not as hard as you think. All I want is this over and our Chesney back at school where he belongs. Out of my hands now. <laughs> Don't have to be. Not if it's what we both want. I'm no ogre, love. I'm as sensitive as the next woman. Sensitive? So I reckon five grand should cover it. Five thousand pounds? Call it a goodwill, what's it? It'd save a lot of time and trouble. Five grand now, or go to court and lose everything.